Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you this uh, wall and floor sander from Parkside available in Lidl and on the beginning my quick judgment rather negative and if you want to know why stay uh, tuned till the end of the video uh, okay uh, what you are paying for uh, the wall and floor sander together with some accessories I would say good for the start you've got uh, sanding paper in uh, three grades starts from 120 followed by 80 and on the end you have a 40 uh, it's good for the start uh, as it is mainly for DIY usage uh, it's uh, more than welcome to have it also you've got such disc steel disc and uh, actually I don't know the uh, for which surface it, for which surface it is I would say I'm guessing it's for concrete for concrete uh, uh, floor because of the because of the, the, the grain size it's just my assumption and because it's not a sandpaper it will not uh, uh, it will not be jammed by the I mean debris um, what is uh, uh, also included it's a dust collecting bag it's I would say it's huge uh, it's it's uh, one and a half the time uh, the length of the device, but uh, the uh, the quick zip the, the place where you able to um, clean it. It's in my opinion not the best one. I would expect to have it on the back. Therefore, you could just uh, I mean it would be better to to, to clean, but. Uh, it's just my opinion uh, what what you cannot see it's it's a smell in generally general this uh, this thing is smelling very very badly I don't know how to call it but it smells uh, really bad maybe it's reason of this Jose and by the way this Jose it my opinion is very in made uh, the quality is, is, is high it's rigid it's uh, I would say it's even heavy so I can really feel the amount of the material that is in it so definitely it should withstand long I'm very I would say happy because usually such um, things are uh, not so well made so good for that uh, yeah and uh, why I said it's my judgment is rather negative because uh, I would say it's a semi-pro tool made in the quality of uh, of DIY. For instance, okay, the switch turn on off, and you have a speed adjustment. The minus, first of all, it's very noticeable because it's very hard to uh, feel it. Uh, and I think it sh soon or later it's gonna break and by the way <laughs> you've got a spare sticker or at least I've got it so you can imagine that sticker will go off sooner not later uh, I, I would expect in such devices uh, I would say more traditional thing to to, 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 to adjust everything else it's made out of nice plastic. It's it's rigid. You can you can adjust as you wish, depending on your on your preferences. Uh, the downsize on the bottom. I think this part will be soon one of the first that you should replace, and I cannot see. Uh, how to replace it I mean the spare parts please bear in mind that it's a uh, Parkside it's a brand of, of Lidl it's not uh, for the common usage so it might happen that you will be not able to, uh, to to buy a spare parts don't know this is uh, just, just my assumption and by the way you've got a three years warranty 
So at least that's showing that uh, Lidl is uh, thinking in some way in long term, but as I mentioned, this part should be, uh, you, please bear in mind that sooner or later you need to be, or you will be forced to replace it and you mo probably won't be able to, to find it or you will be forced to make some customization. Okay, let's turn it on and let's see how loud it is. And that's the thing, I don't know at which gear I am. Are, are it uh, the smallest or the highest? Because when I started, after let's say two seconds it's, it starts, but I couldn't find out that what is the uh, speed from the very beginning. Okay, let's turn it on again. That's the minimum. And that was the, uh, the maximum. Now I will try to turn it on again and I will find out at which speed it will start. Okay, it was a maximum and let's do it in this way. I will turn off. Okay. It should run out of any power and then I will turn it on again and we will find out at which gear it will start. Lowest or highest? In some way, the tool is remembering, uh, there is some memory inside, but uh, for me, I would say it's uh, not natural because if I, for instance, I, uh, let's make a case study, you are doing the job, uh, you are adjusting the speed, then put, you are putting the tool on the side and next day or day after whatsoever, you want to start and it could be in some way surprise for you that it starts from the highest uh, rpms so this adjusting it's not intuitive and definitely not for pros and again as for day usage i can barely imagine that somebody would buy it rather it will rent such tool to make a job uh, to be job done uh, instead of buying such specialized tool for one-time job. So, that's my opinion. I'm curious about, about yours. Uh, and, uh, okay, last but not least, uh, basic features. It's uh, 1050 watts. No load rotation is from 110 up to 1900 RPMs. Sanding plate uh, dimension uh, is uh, sanding plate dimension is 180 millimeters. Suction hose it's uh, from one meter up to three and a half because it's stretchable. Dust collection bag 25 liters more than enough in my opinion. And as accessories we've got uh, sanding paper and uh, this disc, abrasing disc for concrete if I could. Uh, uh, make as an assumption. Cable length is a five meters, so uh, in my opinion, it's it's okay. But I'm curious about your opinions, so please share with me. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and see you next time. Bye.